Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the follow me mod for Farming Simulator 17. Now the follow me mod is just as the name suggests, a mod that enables one tractor to follow another tractor. So in this case, I want this tractor here to be following the tractor right in front of us. So let's jump into this one here. And if you have a look at the menu in the top left corner, you can see that there is nothing about the follow me mod up there. So to enable the follow me mod, I press the right control and the F key, like that. Now it says it's unable to locate a nearby trail within view and range to follow. And it even suggests us to move closer to the tractor ahead of us. So let's just move a little bit closer. It should be able to pick it up right here. Nope, still not. Let's move closer again. There we go. Now I don't know why it has to be this close. Normally it doesn't, but in this case it had to. So now it, if I'm holding down the right control button, it tells us that the leader is right in front of us and the distance is supposedly 20 meters. So if I jump into the tractor up here, you can tell that now there's a woman driving the tractor behind us. And if I just drive off, this tractor will start following us when it's reached a distance of 20 meters, like that. That's very clever. All right, let's jump back into the follow tractor here. So when you're in the follow tractor, you have a different controls. Now you're in what we know in the follow me mod as the myself control. So if you look at the menu in the top left corner, you can tell that right control and F will toggle on and off for the follow me mod. And you can tell in the bottom of the menu that if you hold right control and press F H W S A D X, you have a variety of actions to perform. So let's go through them, shall we? Now the right control button is the is the action button for the follow me mod when you're in the follow tractor. So hold down right control and you will again get the leader ahead and the distance up to the leader. Now to decrease the distance up to the leader, I press the right control and I press the W button. And you can tell there that the distance, the distance is now 5 meters. And if I press the S button, the distance will return to 20 meters. And S button again, and it's 25 meters. Now, as you can tell, the increments that it decreases or increases the distance with is 5 meters at a time. So to make it 1 meter, I hold down right control and I hold the W key. And you can tell it's 1 meter at a time. Like that. All right, now I can also press the A and D key. The A key will give us an, an offset to the right, or the right offset, it would actually give us an offset to the left, but the right offset is now 0 0.5 meters, and if I set it up to 4 meters, and we go into the tractor ahead of us, we can tell that as soon as it starts driving, it's gonna be driving at a 4 meters offset to the left all right so let's go back to the follow tractor now the offset that we have if we wanted it to be on the left side instead of the right side or we wanted the tractor to drive to the other side we can hold the X key and there we go so I press right control and I hold the X key and the offset is reversed like that now if I want to reset the offset, I just press the X key once, like that. Alright, so far so good. The last key is the H key. The H key will pause or hold uh, the follower. So if I jump into the tractor ahead of us now, and just drive ahead, like so, you can tell that that tractor is not following us. So if I jump over to the follow tractor again, and I press right control and H it will go into the course of the tractor it's supposed to follow and it will drive the course like that all right so let's drive ahead and you can see that the tractor is following us again so far so good so let's try another thing here because we can do all of those controls from the follow tractor but what if we wanted to do them from um, the front tractor, the tractor that we're controlling ourselves. So let's set the uh, autopilot to a slower speed and enable it. There we go, so now the autopilot is driving and I can actually show you what's going on 
behind us. So the exact same controls we can do from the, the front tractor, only this time we use the right shift button. So now we get told that the follow me tractor, oh sorry, the follow tractor is uh, follower G and it's 20 meters behind us. Just gonna steer the tractor here a little bit. Now if I wanted it to come a bit closer I press the W button and the distance is now 15 meters and now it's 10 meters. And let's just, oops, there we go. So this tractor should start to get closer to us. I can even have it following me at zero meters. Alright, there we should go at zero meters now. Now it should actually go straight up to the back of this tractor like so. So let's say that I wanted the follow me tractor to drive ahead of us. So I'm going to put an offset to the left. So it's three meters to the left of us. And now it's going to go up to the zero meter point. And I want it to go ahead of us. So now it's 20 meters ahead of us. Like so. It's a little bit tricky to do it when it's ahead of us, but it should be working perfectly. Alright, let's stop here and let's get this tractor back to following us behind us. 10 meters and we're going to reset the offset. There we go. Like that. Alright. So the next thing we can do from the front tractor is we can actually hold or pause the follow tractor if we press left shift, right shift, sorry, and H, and the tractor is now waiting. And again, it's not following us, so if we want it to follow us, the right shift and H, and the tractor is starting to follow us again. And the only thing that we can't do from the front tractor is we can't actually enable follow me mod. We have to do that in the follow tractor, but we can stop it again. So right shift and F will stop the follower. As you can tell in the top right corner, follower G has been stopped by player, but I can't press the right shift and F to actually get it to follow us again. I have to go into the follow tractor to do that. So let's step into this one here. Right control and F and it will follow us. All right, so that's basically it. So this is very useful in a, a variety of scenarios. For instance, if you want to drive a lot of equipment back from your dealer to your farm, this is one way of doing it. You can even do, you can even use it for doing various field work. So let's jump into a scenario where that is useful for something. Okay, so here I have a couple of tractors set up ready to do some field work. This field has been mowed and it has been turned into hay and now I want to collect the hay. So I'm, I need to rake it and I need to bale it and I need to collect it with this tractor down here. And I'm going to be using the follow me mark for doing all of those tasks. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into this tractor, start up the engine and start the equipment behind us. Lower the pickup. There we go. And I want this tractor to be following me when I'm driving the rake ahead here. So straight up to this one up here. I'm going to be pressing the left, sorry, the right control and the F key. And you can tell that it's now following us at a distance of 20 meters. Now I want that distance to be a little bit um, smaller. So I'm going to set it down to 15 meters. There we go. So this tractor is ready to go. And the next tractor is this tractor down here that has the pickup um, wagon behind it or the bale wagon behind it. So I want this tractor to be following the baler up ahead of us. So the right control and F and the distance to the leader is 20 meters and I want that to be actually 20 meters is fine. Now one thing about this though is that I need an offset because the pickup point on the wagon is on the right. Now there's no clever way of calculating. I haven't found a clever way of calculating the offset yet. But through testing I found out that for me, 2 meters offsets to the left is what works best. So I'm going to be pushing the right control and the A button and you can tell that it says that the right offset now is 2 meters. Now the right offset means that it 
has an offset or the pickup point is two meters to the right of the center of this tractor so the offset is actually to the right but the tractor will be driving to the left of the tractor that it's following if that made any sense all right so we're good to go here so the only thing that we need to do now is start this tractor up here like that and start up the rake and let's head off Right, so this should be working fine and as you can tell now the baler is starting to pick up behind us and soon the pickup tractor will follow there we go we are off to a good start It's a little bit difficult to see right now, but in a minute it will make sense, all of it. So it should be picking up a bale pretty soon. There we go, first bale picked up. And this is the follow me mod doing all of it. So I'm just going to be focusing on where I'm driving right now, instead of looking behind us. Like so. And it should be able to make that turn as well. Now one thing to keep in mind with the follow me mark, uh, the tractor that's picking up the bales behind us there is not really capable of making a sharp turn like that. So you will end up with bales that aren't being picked up um, every now and again, but it's not really a big issue. So now it's just working fine. All I need to do now is keep an eye on the tractor furthest back. So when the wagon is full, I need to manually go back to the farm and unload it. I'm just going to speed up time and let you guys watch this unfold. So the chase tractor at the back is full now, so I'm going to have to go manually unload it. So let's just stop the follow me mod. I do that by holding the right control and pressing the F button. Like so. so now I'm actually controlling the tractor manually. And let's head back to the farm and unload this, this load here. I'm just going to pick this one up on the way. So to resume the course here, or to resume the path that it was driving before, I'm going to go back to following the tractor that I was just following. Now the clever thing about the follow me mod is I do not actually need to set up the offset. So if I press and hold the right control and press the F button, you can see that it remembers the offset of two meters. I might want to increase that actually to two and a half meters. Let's do that. All right, so we should be good to go again. So let's head back into the front tractor and continue the course. And I'm going to speed up time and let you guys follow along.
all right so now we're done with um, baling this field so let's just turn off the baler and let's get ready to go back to the farm So that should be just about it. Just have a look. Oops, that was the wrong way. And it should pick up the last bale now, so we should be just about fine. There we go. Alright, so let's um, reset the offset and let's just head back to the farm. So to reset the offset, the right control and just press the X button there we go and now we're ready to do that okay so that was basically it guys that was um, the follow me mark now I'm gonna leave all the controls to the follow me mark down in the description of this video so do unfold that description and you will get a good explanation of what to do here and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something and if you like the video go ahead press that like button and I shall see you in the next one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.